How's it going, everybody? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today. As always, hope you're all having a beautiful day, wherever you might be. Today, we're doing another Brawlhalla challenge. That's right. Today, we're doing Strikeout, and we're going to do Legends with the lowest possible defense. So it's going to be super hard. I'm probably going to get destroyed, but I wanted to make this video anyways, because I've never done this challenge in Strikeout. So... We're going to start it out at the very, very bottom. Lowest possible defense. We're going Ember, two defense. Then we're going to go Ada, two defense. And we might as well go... Actually, I really do like Wasteland Ada. Let's do that one. Two defense Ada. And then two defense Jala. And I guess we, we, can, we can keep it Finn. I want to change up his axe a little bit. Let's do... How about the Koa wood? That looks really cool. We're going two defense all the way. And then after these legends, I'm going to pick the next lowest defense legend. So we're never going to play the same legend twice. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please drop a like because it's going to be super fun to watch. All right, first game going against Greasy Potatoes. And look at that. He's got super strong legends. Oh, man. This is not a good matchup for me. He's got Zul, Taros, Jala, three extremely powerful legends. And right off the bat, he goes and takes the weapon. Tries to get me with the unarmed gimps. Ooh, barely dodged that. Sometimes I like to just fight unarmed. Little does he know, I don't need a weapon. They think you want the weapon, and they keep on trying to weapon starve you. Meanwhile, you can just keep on reading that and fighting them unarmed. And you can do a lot of damage that way. And that's a wrap. He just charged right off into his own death. Nice move, Jala. Nice move. Ooh, I should not have went into that. That was a nice little trick he did with that down sig. All right. We are going good, though. Considering he has all these powerful legends and we only have two defense. Ooh, wrong way, though. Pretty even match now. He pretty much tied it back up. We both have yellow damage. I really want to hit the down sig, or I mean the neutral sig on Ada Blasters. I love Ada Sigs. Especially if you can hit it off stage, though. And we're going to get this Jala. Oh, goodbye. I love hitting with that neutral sig. All right. This is our final test. We have to beat Taros. Taros with all his strength versus Ada with all her no defense. Both sides on that sig, buddy. We're doing all right so far. Ooh, that will do it. Literally one neutral sig from Taro, so it took. All right, our turn to play with Jala. Axe versus axe. Gotta be careful, cause every time you whiff, it's a punish. Ooh, we can get him with that side sig every time. Oh, how you like it when I down sig? That's what I thought. We get him right back with that Jala spin loop thing. <laughs> GG, dude, GG. That was a really good match. All right, let's keep it going with the lowest defense possible legends. Next up, we have Jiro. Uh, I think I'm going to do a different skin, though. Let's do... Let's do Shin Shinigami Jiro. This one looks cool, but we're going to upgrade the sword and the lance. Because I don't really like those basic weapons. Let's go... Uh, let's do Power Surge, and then for the Scythe, how about we do Scareware? I like that one. Oh yeah, that looks good. And then we're gonna go Thatch. Thatch also only has two defense. We'll go Goblin Thatch, why not? I actually like his weapons, kind of. Two defense Thatch, and then that's it for, for Legends that can only go to two defense. So we're gonna have to go to Legends that have three defense at the lowest, which is Artemis. So Artemis has four defense normally, but we could bring it down to three. That's the next lowest defense possible legend. 
I actually really like esports colors on this Artemis, so let's do it. All of the lowest defense possible legends on a team. Can I win with all of them in one video? I don't know. We're gonna find out. All right, here we go. Going against Batboy7061. He's got Orion, Ada, and Fate. Here we go. Orion, Ada, and Fate. Interesting team. That's like a lot of different weapons there. All right, here we go. All right, he's not gonna let us get a weapon. No problem. I can work with that. In fact, I don't need a weapon at all. We could just go unarmed. See what I mean? If, if people like to weapon starve me, this is what I try to do. I try to just show them that, hey, that's cool. That's a good strategy, but not on me. You have to do something else because weapon starving is for people that need the weapon. What? All right, that was a weird play, but we got it. <laughs> Oh, man. No, I almost had the great sight string. Destroyed that Ada right there. Are we gonna three stock with Jiro? Cause it's looking like we are. Oh, how did that neutral sig not hit? That would have been such a good clean zero to death. Oh well. Who needs defense if you're not even getting hit? GG dude, GG. All power and speed and dex, that's all I need. All right, we didn't even get to play Thatcher or Artemis, so let's go ahead and go Thatch, Artemis. I'm probably gonna die right away with Thatch. I'm so bad with him. And then Caspian. Caspian also has four defense that we're gonna bump down to three. And we'll go Plague Knight. I actually really like Plague Knight. And we'll go, ooh, Synthwave Colors, why not? All right, if I get one kill with the cannonballs, like, I, <laughs> that's gonna be like mission accomplished. All right, that's our challenge on top of the challenge. We're playing with two defense legends only, or rather lowest defense legends, I should say. That's just two defense. And we're also gonna play, if I get a kill with the uh, cannonballs, that's like bonus, bonus points. First I gotta damage him up, and then we're gonna hit him with the cannonballs. I call it a challenge because it can be difficult to hit them with the cannonball sometimes. Other times, they just go right into them, so it really just depends. All right, we didn't get him with the cannonballs, but hopefully we'll get the next one. Damage him up. It's okay. I'm still alive even though I'm in red Like literally one good hit and I'm probably gonna die. Oh That was a pretty good hit But I'm still alive And now I'm dead, okay Well, we didn't get the cannonball achievement <laughs> I told you I was gonna do bad with that. Oh well. So Ryan's pretty good. Oh, goodbye. Man, Artemis looks really good in so many colors though.
No, Artemis. Oh my goodness. Okay, goodbye, Artemis. Cast me in. We're not gonna lose. Oh, GG. He kept doing those Qatar neutral airs and, and Qatar light attacks to me, so I just wanted to kill him that way too. <laughs> GG, dude, GG. All right, so we went through all three of those legends, which is pretty cool. All right, so next we're gonna go Cassidy. Cassidy is a really good legend, but she only has three defense if you do the right stance, if you do speed. So three defense, Cassidy. Then we're gonna go Dusk. I rarely play Dusk, so. For those of you that want me to play Dusk more often, here we go. Let's go speed stance with her, and then we're gonna go Fate. Fate is also a legend that can only have three defense if you go dexterity stance. Let's go charge Doji colors, why not? So these are three legends I'm pretty decent with, so I, I feel like I should win this one. Alright, going against Drake444. It's like, strikeout is kind of weird. like. Sometimes I go against noobs, and sometimes I go against, like, pros. It really depends on strikeout. But, I will say that, and I had this confirmed with a BMG dev, that even the experimental and strikeout playlists and all those, they still have, like, a hidden uh, elo system, basically. You just can't see it. So, you're still mostly going to go against people that are around the same skill as you, even though you're not playing ranked. That's why, like, if you're a plat player, you're probably never going to go against, like, a brand new tin player in Experimental. But, if there's not that many people in the playlist, then it's going to widen the range of the potential matches. So that's how, you know, in playlists like Strikeout, where there's probably not as many players, depending on the time of day, you might go against somebody that is either way better or way worse than you. Same in Experimental or Friendly 2v2, same in all of them. Alright, this guy's pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, he's better than the gold banner would suggest. Oh yeah, Cassidy, too good with the hammer. But yeah, so even though it might feel like you're only going against noobs or something in, a, in strikeout or experimental, it actually does still go off of your elo. Ooh, that was a nice side air on that axe. Didn't expect it. Alright, we got Nimue, aka Dusk. Dusk versus Zol. I like the orb versus cannon matchup. I feel like cannon's just a little bit too slow, so hopefully I can take advantage. But honestly, Dusk is a pretty solid legend. I feel like I could win it with Dusk. The spear or the orb, either way. So far so good, he's hardly touched us with Num uh, Nimue. Bonus points if I can hit him with the spear down sig. Ooh, got him right on his bald head. <laughs> All right, extra bonus points if I get the last kill here with the spear down sig. I just like hitting it. I don't know why. It's such a weird move. First, we gotta damage him up. Get him nice and uh, nice and red. Get him nice and red. It don't matter if I get hit a little bit, because we're only in yellow. Woohoohoo! That down sig is so fun when you can hit it. <laughs> GG, dude. GG. Well played. That was fun. Alright, I think I'll do one more because we didn't get to use Fate, and she's one of my favorites. So we're gonna go Fate with three defense. Then we're gonna go Hattori with three defense. The next lowest, and then we're gonna go Koji with three defense. He's also the next lowest. Wait, did I pass? Where's Koji? Koji! I know you're in here, Koji! Oh, that's see, I always don't see it because it's Michonne. Alright, um, let's go Demon Ogre, Koji, Black, all black. 
Last match of the of the video. We're going all black. Even though we're we're all black, we're all the two defense legends. So even though we look kind of intimidating because we have all black colors, we're still like likely to get beat. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. Last game going against uh, Kaboom Foamtastic. Three, uh, no, he's got Zuri, Ragnar, and Fate. All right, all right. And he went all strength stance on his team. He's going all power. Kind of like what I'm doing too, to be honest, because when you take away from defense, you're basically boosting the other sets. And we got him! We survived that intense offstage gimp attempt. Woo! Feels bad, he didn't have to die that way. That was kind of his choice. Yeah, he knows it. Feels bad. Hey, we all make mistakes. Ooh, he got me there. All right. Let's go, Hattori. The thing with most orb users is they don't use orb ground pound very often because it doesn't hit very often. But I find that when you do use it, it makes you a much better player. Oof. Alright. Reverse three star kaboom! Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Don't be taunting me, bro. That's not how you're gonna win. GG, dude. GG. <laughs> I thought he, I think he thought he could get the taunt off before, like I would spawn. But the bomb just happened to spawn right next to me. <laughs> you, you better be only taunting me if I'm dead and can't, re can't retaliate. Oh man. Alright, well that's gonna be it for this video. We played most of the lowest defense legends in Brawlhalla in Strikeout. It was pretty fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, friends.